Hi guys, I uh, just want to bring you to Turkey at the moment um, and we're heading to uh, a place uh, called uh, the area of Van or uh, there's a town there as well um, but just north of that there's a uh, uh, Muradoy I hope I pronounced that right, it's in the top right hand corner there um, just out on the E99 uh, a little ways uh, from the lake and uh, if I can uh, just say that where you see all this, all these red dots, um, I believe are earthquakes and the latest one being here. Um, and this, if I just take you over to the... Let me go to the summary and you'll see that uh, on the 4th of the 4th, uh, 2012, uh, there was an earthquake uh, 4.5 magnitude, a depth of two kilometers, quite shallow, has struck a, on a very highly populated area in Van Pop, uh, province, and there's 0 0.1, 0 0.6 million people there. So um, they obviously need the uh, don't need any sort of international humanitarian intervention or anything like that, according to this, um, and it has a very low humanitarian impact, it says. Um, it does have a high resilience for natural disasters, this area. Um, and I just thought I'd take you there. Uh, okay, just bringing you to uh, this uh, map, Google Earth. And I was just going to uh, zero in on, uh, on the van, so you can get an idea of where it is. Uh, it's near Armenia, it's near Iran. And uh, as we zoom in, Murad dies there. Uh, just bringing you to your depth here. Um, it's actually on two day, although it doesn't have the word day. It's set on uh, T gamma, although it doesn't have the word gamma. And I'll just take you down to the purple spot there, which you see is more than 0.4 micro sievert or 400 nano sieverts, just to uh, show you that. Uh, if we come across to Turkey and uh, we're in the uh, province of Van. And uh, we've got Muradai, just at the top north end of the lake. And I'm just taking you into that. And it's obviously on maximum value, so it's not saying it's uh, region-wide pollution, but uh, certainly there is uh, some pollution, uh, which will be lesser than, uh, than this amount. But um, well, this obviously flagged up. Um, uh, the only thing I can think of is Muradai uh, University, or something of that nature uh, but the uh, sort of hazmat uh, warning didn't uh, say anything about there being a nuclear facility uh, nearby to worry about um, but there has been a release um, we don't know how much because UADEP is uh, currently uh, inaccessible uh, for data uh, but this is definitely the uh, this is definitely uh, a problem so uh, I thought I'd take you to there. So we're, we're in Turkey, uh, we found another leak, um, and uh, it's uh, near, but we do know that there's a reactor there in the, um, I think it's a, um, an educational reactor, a uh, scientific one. So um, uh, there's a nuclear physics uh, department of the local university there, so that, that must be what's, uh, what's letting off. So um, I just thought I'd bring you to SD6. It's got 1850, don't know why. Two days, maximum setting. And uh, plus four is purple and up to a four. Point four micro sievert. It's blue. Um, and that occurred uh, at some point, about uh, two days ago. And uh, just to confirm that, so that would be the fourth as well. It's come down to a blue, so it's still it's still a problem there, but uh, but it has improved. But we did get a spike off it, and uh, I thought that was mentioning it worth mentioning. Bring you to this one here, and uh, basically you should be able to see uh, Kovila, which. Uh, at Kavila, there appears to be a reactor that they use. Uh, I think it's uh, 
something to do with the medical. So, but uh, if not, it'll be educational. It was a bit difficult to find out about it. So, uh, but this is the area that it is. If I scroll out, just to give you a bit of perspective of uh, where that is. Okay, so that does match up with the uh, blue spot we had. And uh, there is a reactor there going, obviously. So uh, that's a bit of an issue. So you can see over it in Turkey, there was an earthquake uh, on the 4th, and uh, it's caused uh, some problem. Um, and in fact, uh, if you look all the way in the south, and also uh, where they have some uh, medical reactors uh, at the ITU University, so there's a kind of a blue occurrence there. Uh, coming over to uh, Italy, we have a, a blue there, and basically when we come to Spain, you can see it's kind of lit up, there's uh, four blues and, and the purple spot. Uh, that could just well be because of one reactor or, or problems with all, hard to say. Uh, I'd like to come into the south of, uh, I'm going to scroll in a little bit. Okay, so if we look in the, uh, the Swiss area, uh, we can see it's quite well lit up uh, all the way across France. There's a whole line off, uh, off these uh, things. So, got blue, which is up to 0.3. And if we go to Slovenia, we also notice in the south, uh, basically, uh, we've got uh, another blue there as well. And if we were to come up to Luxembourg, and we're talking Catanorm again, we have uh, a number of blues, and I'm going to zoom in just to get a, a better look at those. I've got four. One, two, three, four, five. We have five. So there we are, one, two, three, four, five. And that's uh, just uh, north of Castanol. Just bringing into this uh, blue spot here. Um, and this is a place called the Zerki, uh, near St. Petersburg, uh, Russia. Just uh, near the border with uh, Finland. And um, if I was to just uh, bring you over here, you can see uh, the Zerki there. And uh, it's kind of blurred out this, uh, which kind of leads me to think it's uh, kind of a military thing. They do, do have some uh, military establishments up on the border with Finland there. But it's a Zerki and it's near St. Petersburg. Um, so we come over to the <coughs> map again and I'll just bring you over to uh, this island here. This is the island of um, Arland. Um, so basically it's just picking up something, um, hard to say if it's European pollution or whether it is um, uh, you know, from a Finnish or Swedish source. Okay, so we sort of have an overview there of, uh, of what's happening. Um, so basically uh, pretty much the whole of South Europe, and I include from the most eastern part of Turkey to the near enough the most western part of Spain uh, and heading north um, I mean basically it's uh, you've got Russia, St. Petersburg there's a monitor near there going off uh, and another one on the other side of Finland um, but it's very hard to say we know the strong winds went shooting up the uh, towards the Gulf of Finland so uh, what's causing those blue um, sort of uh, lights. Is it local or is it something that's been brought in from uh, from Europe, um, from Sutherfield even to be more specific and uh, maybe Old Brie and Hinkley and La Hague. Um, now La Hague is one of the bigger emitters uh, of uh, emissions. Um, so, uh, but we have medical reactors going off as well as uh, and scientific reactors going off as well as uh, a possible military establishment near St. Petersburg. 
<clears throat> but uh, in fairness, it may also that may be being triggered off by uh, by European. Uh, let's see what we got here. Oslo. Uh, we have a switch off here. So yep, there's a switch off, and that was on the 13th, uh, maybe the 10, uh, 11th, 12th. So around about the end of the 12th, we started having switch offs, but. Uh, as you can see, it didn't stop the increase. That's a nice steady increase there, which takes us up to about 0.13 microsieverts uh, from a low of 0.1. And we go to the historical, um, and all of these are after uh, post Fukushima, so they're higher. And uh, as we go along the spikes, if you look at my earlier videos, you can see what the earlier values were. Uh, you know, pre Fukushima, lots of switch offs there. Managed to get it down, but once again, big rise. And uh, I think, yeah, now this is this is at the same height as the highest spot after uh, Fukushima, uh, which would have been you know the sort of the fourth, the, the fifth really was the, when Norway was uh, showing the worst. I'll just show you that. It's that little kick up there. And we're, we're kind of there again, courtesy of Europe. You can see the whole increase there is Europe. And, you know, that's uh, just a... So, <clears throat> I'm uh, not going to go too far up with this, but um, I'll hit Stavanger just to see what they're getting. And that's interesting, because the winds are coming southerly, they're getting the clean air that we've getting in London now, and over the last month, they haven't done too bad. It's uh, 0.12 microsievert, but uh, a little bit higher than what it should be there, I think. Um, but once again, there wasn't a great deal of effect on the west coast from Fukushima. But uh, you can see there's that little kick up there. Um, but we're not getting the same return although it's not too far away from it. They have been getting some uh, pollution when it's been heading, uh, the wind's been heading north, but they're heading south at the moment, and that saved them from the same fate as uh, Oslo. And that's where the contamination from Sutherfield went. And uh, we'll just go up to Hull to see what's happening up there, because that was the most dramatic increase, wasn't it? 0.09. Uh, Oh, right, so we're back up at 0.15 in the last month, and that looks like, as a result, oh, we can see some of the uh, Fukushima here, this is a nice one. So it starts off at 0.9, you can't see that, but it comes up to uh, 0.15, have all the various things that happened, we had a lot of switch-offs there suspiciously. And that would have been at the start of the year when we had all those little reactors going off around Europe. I had a lot of snow, you can see lots of spikes still. Um, and uh, when we got into uh, March, there you go, big recovery. And uh, we're basically uh, 0.01 microsievert less than uh, the height of uh, Fukushima. I'm not going to harp on too much more about this, so it's just a to say that uh, obviously you know in the mountains of Europe we can see and the scientists can see a, a distinct increase in radiation levels but they're not telling anyone about it um, and <clears throat> there's reactors going off all over Europe but we're not hearing about that and we're not hearing about why the air quality is so bad in London and, and Europe um, it's full of uh, uh, the emissions from these uh, <coughs> reactors, basically, um, and that's that's got to be a health concern. So.